So some of my favorite enhancements within 2019.1 is the changes to the frame generator. It really makes it easier to both insert members and make changes. And some of them are pretty, pretty simple. For example, let's go in, let's make a, a quick change to this. Let's trim or miter an edge. And when you select objects within the frame generator, Notice that you're selecting blue, so you're selecting frame members to cut, and then a yellow. So now what happens is it dynamically shades the view, so it's not just a wireframe outline, but actually colors the different members. So as you can see, yes, I did select that as blue, and I did select that as yellow. So we'll apply that. Let's do the same thing on the other side. So here's my first member. Here's my second member. We can see the coloring, and I'll click OK to apply that. So the same thing will happen if I use Trim Extend or Trim the Frame. So here what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the outside as my first edge and I'll select the inside one as the second edge and again notice how it's dynamically previewing. So I can see right now yeah the blue is what I wanted the yellow is also what I wanted. So we'll apply that and then we'll, we'll replicate that and we'll do that on the other side. So again select what I want for blue, select what I want for yellow and then it dynamically previews to, to show that. So we'll click OK and we've completed our miners. So shows you that dynamic previewing. Now if I use the change feature and I go to make a change to it, what I can see now is the skeleton edge shows through it. So I can see now what was selected as that edge. Also notice the multi-select feature. I now have the option to multi-select features using crossing, using windows, you know, if I selected something I didn't want, I can do a shift pick to deselect. So just like in other environments, I now have the option to multi-select, which is great. Because now I can come in here and quickly change these three of them, let's say to 516 thickness instead, and I'll click OK. And it's just giving me a message that the, the replacement is going to change the file names because I'm naming them based on the, on the size of it. So I was able to go through there quite quickly and change those three. And I was just thinking if I had more than three, how, how beneficial that feature would be. Okay, well, I'm going to go in. I'm going to insert a frame. And not that it shows here, but now it'll remember what the last standard was. So it no longer just defaults to ANSI, the default to ANSI. So it'll remember that, that last size. What also happens now is notice that it's defaulting to a particular size which means now that as I select edges, it will automatically preview. So in, in the past, prior to 2019.1, I'd pick some edges, nothing was previewing until I went and selected a size. So now you can kind of preview what you're gonna see and then you can go and adjust the size. So just a little thing there to make it a little bit easier to get, get, the, get the previews. So let's change this. Let's change this to, let's say a pipe. So I'm gonna select a extra strong pipe and we'll change this, we'll leave this at four inches. And let's also do the back edges on this. So I'm gonna click okay to generate those new components. So now I realize that I need to insert some more of this tubing. So when I go to insert frame, or when you're going to use a change, is that you can use the new eyedropper feature. So it's really a copy properties. So it's remembering the, the last used, so it's the pipe, because that's what I last inserted. But I can go in there and I can select to copy the frame member, so the details, so you know, the family and the size and the material, just the orientation. So if I want to align my new member with an existing one, I can do that. In this case, I'm going to select everything. So I want the orientation and the size, and I'll click the eyedropper and I'll pick the feature feature that I want. So I selected that steel tubing, and we can see that it brought in that exact size. So now what I can do is I can go select where I'd like to insert this. So it's now inserting it, and now I can click OK to insert that. So again, might seem a little bit minor, but I think it's it's pretty huge because it makes it easier to me, for me to insert members because I can copy properties and now previews automatically for me. When I'm making changes, I get that dynamic previewing, so it's shaded as well as colored. And I can multi-select multiple members to make changes at one time. So those are the changes to the frame generator environment within 2019.1.